The first thing we should go over is uh, how the details actually work in the GDS uh, version 15 WinBit Pro software. So knowing where the details are and how they're used in the program is going to help you either change details or add details of your own or even when you create new framing systems you're going to want to put details in for it. So you need to know how this whole thing works in order to do all that. So the first thing let's do is we go to our C drive. I'll show you where these files are located and this is the first important step is uh, making sure they're in the right place. So we go to our C drive, we find our WinBid Pro folder and then we find the catalog that we're working with and I'm working with US Aluminum. There's two of them but I know that I'm using the newest one right here, 2009. So we open that up and any catalog that we've configured for version 15 is going to have its own vendor details folder. So that means that we've pre-configured details for the different components of all the different systems that we've listed in the, in the uh, catalog itself. So we open up vendor details. Now in this case there's subfolders for to try and organize the details even more within the, the vendor details folder. So some of the smaller catalogs might not have this type of uh, file structure just because there aren't as many details but in the case of US Aluminum there were quite a few and uh, that doesn't need to be there and we thought it was, would be better to help you find them like if we're, we're working with a series 451 or even an IT 451 we can go straight to there if we know it's um, a screw ray system it's easy to go straight to there if we know it's exterior glaze and so forth so so we've included um, the details for those systems that are listed in our catalog and it's not every possible system that the manufacturer makes so that means there's more details out there and you could always go get them and add them to this folder or you could add them to any of the folders. You could even go all the way down to vendor details and add the files right here. So the key thing is the files have to be at least in vendor details and if you like you can you can do what we did and create subfolders to organize them even more. But once the once the detail files are on the C drive in that location then it's easy to go into a framing system like let's go to our list here we're using uh, system 35 so right here in the frame ID field I can just type 35 and it jumps right to it then I can double click on it and open it and this the first screen you remember is the profiles the way the head and sills cut uh, added daylight, basic settings like that, but we want to go to the stock length tab. And right here is where all the different file names are entered for the details for the given components. So think of these as columns. So head material, this is the head detail, sill material, this is the sill detail. Um, this is how this is laid out. So we can type in a new detail name. If let's say we change the head to a different component we can t it's going to need a new detail so we would have to put in that detail name here uh, the file name now if, if we don't know the name we can double click on this field where the f the file name goes and then we can browse for it so notice how it opens this up in the vendor details folder so now we start browsing for that file so if you've gone to the US Aluminum website and you've saved a detail to this vendor details folder you can just simply click on it and hit open and then it'll change that name in this field right here. So that's all you have to do. Now this number is the number that's going to show up on the elevation drawing w next to the head material. So whatever label number you want to put, you enter it into this field, it'll show up in the drawing. There's also a setting that will make it show up on the detail itself. Now the, first, the other thing you want to do is proof the, the detail or preview it. So if I click this label button right here, it's going to show me a preview of the detail. So in this case, the detail already has a bubble number. So all we're doing is we're matching the number in our field in the program to what the detail itself says. So check that. You'll want to before you enter any old number that you want, you might want to see what detail uh, what the detail file itself has and whether it has a number of its own. If not, you can enter our number and then you can check that setting to have our number applied to the detail drawing. And, uh, and then you've got your labeling. So that's basically how it works. You, uh, you know where the details are. You know where to enter them in the framing system for the given component. 
you know how the bubble number gets referenced and then you also know how to preview it to make sure that the file is working and that it's the correct file for the parts you want it to show. And uh, that's the basic concept of the details in uh, version 15. So the next videos we'll see how to work with the details, how to uh, move them around, uh, print them, scale them, things like that.